It's an offer too good to turn down. You're going to see a side of the United States that I've never really seen before. I'm setting the Guinness World Record for the longest journey on an electric scooter. I ride the electric motorcycle. I'll be riding the electric scooter on the tour. I'll be driving the Nissan Leaf. I'll be riding the scooter. I'll be driving the support vehicles. And I'll be taking the electric bike across America. If you go 100 years into the future, clearly we're not going to be using internal combustion to move people around. So sometime between now and 100 years, we're going to make that transition. I carried enough chargers on the bike to be able to fully charge a Leaf in one hour. Traveling across the country on electric vehicles was something that I knew next to nothing about. How am I going to survive 44 days? Of, this. of course it's a bloody hard trip. We're going from one end of America to the other to break a Guinness Book of Records. It should be hard. If it was easy, it would Everything be rather good. meaningless. Why do we have to wake up at 6.30 a.m. every day and then we don't leave till 10 o'clock? Bad planning. Now what the hell do we do? 44 days is a really long time. I am not open to making that 45 days. Just the heat alone is going to become a great challenge for cycling. Descending down here was like descending into a furnace. In 1927, gas stations were very rare. Right now, we have a similar situation with charging stations and electric cars. Three sides to every story. We're gonna run better and sound better. It won't pollute the earth. There is yours, there is mine. And this is very, very important to save ourselves from ourselves. Well, this is a real pivotal point in life, and I'm really glad that we can all be a part of that.